Welcome to JATSCON 2015. Um, I didn't put something on this, this first slide that I think we agreed last year that we were, when we tweet about JATSCON, we were going to use hashtag JATSCON with no hyphen. So those of you who tweet, um, there you go. Um, so we're here for two days, um, and there's one very important thing that you need to know, and that is there is no food or drink in the auditorium. This is bold and red because it's the one thing that we're really serious about. So please, um, don't, don't make me ask you not to bring food or drink into the auditorium. Um, okay, so some housekeeping things. Uh, our restrooms are in the hall by the elevators. Uh, just go out to the registration desk and turn left. Um, Lunch will be on your own. Uh, there's a cafeteria one flight down. You can down, go down the big stairs or down the, down the elevator. And there's one across the street in the Natcher building where we used to hold the conference before we got too big. Um, the, uh, I was just talking to somebody out in the, out in the lobby and the, the cafeteria in the Natcher building is improved um, and what that means is not as many people get sick there. Um, no, no, that's, that's really not fair. The food, has gotten, the food has gotten very good, and they have Indian food on Wednesdays, which is really quite good. Um, coffee breaks will be in the lobby. Um, Jane Davenport, who's at the door. Is that you, Jane? I have my reading glasses on. Jane Davenport is our caterer for the event, so uh, she's been taking care of things, which is a big load off of my mind, so thank you, Jane. Um, the program. We're going to have opportunities for questions and discussion after every uh, presentation. Um, those of you seated in the United Nations area, you have little microphones. You can press the button. The light will come on, and you can ask your question. We can have five of those lights lit up at a time. So when you're done speaking, or if you're going to you know, mutter something nasty under your breath, please turn the microphone off. Um, uh, and we should have microphones in the back for those of you in the peanut gallery. Um, tell us who you are, uh, and uh, I'm sure we'll all get to know each other by the end of our time together. Um, Wednesday afternoon, we'll have an open session. Uh, this has been pretty popular. I know we've already heard from several people who want to get in make a presentation at the open session. Uh, the length of the presentations will vary depending on how many people we have. Um, so uh, hopefully I can coerce Laura into organizing that again. Uh, she's back there raising her hand. She does an excellent job. So if you have something and you want to get on the list, see Laura and she'll get you, get you on the list for the open session. Oh, forms. We will have participate, participant lists on paper uh, available tomorrow morning at the registration desk. Um, we, don't, we don't send those out electronically. Um, and we also have conference feedback forms online. Now, this works great on your phone. Well, I said that yesterday during the tutorials. This works great on my phone. Um, <laughs> I've already filled out like 10 of them with all smiley faces. So if you have some real feedback, um, please, please go there and, and fill that out. Um, so it's jatscon slash feedback. Um, I put a bunch of redirects, so if you spell it wrong, hopefully you'll, you'll get there. I want to thank the peer reviewers because the peer reviewers help us decide what, what, uh, what the program is going to be. Um, so everyone on this list went through, the, went through the papers and made comments, and I think a lot of times the comments are very helpful for beefing up the papers that we, that we wind up with. Uh, and the program committee, um, again, they go through all the papers, we make decisions on what's, what's going to be presented and, and in what order. Okay, now some jargon. We have to do this every year. Um, JATS is the journal article tag suite. Hopefully that's something everybody has heard of. Um, and this is the article models. 
We'll also, we're also going to hear about bits, which is the book interchange tag suite. Um, I'm hoping we don't have to come up with another sickeningly sweet acronym um, for so another project. But now we have JATS and BITS. BITS is the book model. It's an extension of JATS. Um, right now, JATS is a NISO standard, and BITS is a, an extension project that we're running from NCBI uh, right now. So we're also going to hear a lot about green, blue, and orange. Actually, we're not going to hear about orange because nobody uses it. We're going to hear a lot about green and blue. And people will use these as nouns, and they will use these as verbs, um, which is very intimidating to the, to the, new, to the new folks. Um, the, the reason we use colors is that the uh, tag libraries uh, are colored differently, so you can tell right away which one you're looking at. The archiving and, and interchange tag library, or the, the tag set, is in green, so we refer to, to this as green. This is the most open and allowing of the, of the three article models. Um, next, we have the journal publishing tag set, which is the one that we refer to as blue because, well, it's blue. Um, and then the third is orange. Uh, some people refer to it as pumpkin. Um, I do not do that. Uh, this is orange. Um, and the, the whole shift in our modeling is a lot of times people want to make the publishing model more open. So they will talk about greening blue. So if somebody says greening blue, that's what they mean. Hopefully we can stop them and have them use a little more uh, accurate language. But that's what greening blue means. So news. Now released, we released 1.1D3 last week. Was it last week? Yeah, last week. Um, this is the third draft, committee draft of version 1.1, and it's the one that the committee has voted to submit to NISO for an official 1.1 version of the standard. So that's big news. So that means 1.1 won't come out for maybe 100, 150 years. But it's, it's on its way. Uh, the BITS committee is working through comments now. And we're going to have details about that in the, in the open session tomorrow. Um, the BITS group is doing some exciting work, especially with questions and answers and some other things. So stay tuned for that. Now, I think that I am finishing up about five minutes early, but that's okay. <laughs>